Use of Cytosorb in Severe Septic Shock, a case report based on a true story. Hi, my name is Peter, and I nearly lost my life. But I was rescued by an amazing team of doctors and nurses and a new therapy which might have been the key to my survival. Here's my story. I was working in my garden one day when I noticed I'd gotten a few scratches from some thorns. I carried on working, didn't think anything more about it, didn't even mention it to my family doctor when I saw him the next day for a flu jab. A few days later, my wife needed to wake me up in the morning. I was so tired. My heart was beating very fast. I was breathing heavily, felt pain in both legs, and had a fever. My wife was shocked when she saw me and took me to the hospital immediately. In the emergency room, I suddenly seemed to be surrounded by lots of people. At first, the doctors suspected I had a severe delayed reaction to the flu vaccination. They did some tests and took blood samples. Then, everything happened very fast, and they transferred me to the intensive care unit. When the blood tests came back, they showed extremely high inflammatory parameters. It seemed like I'd gotten a serious infection, which had started to affect my entire body. They started to give me antibiotics and some other medication. I was told my kidneys were about to stop working and my liver was apparently also stressed. There were monitors and machines all around me and wires and tubes everywhere. After some hours, I passed out. I can't remember anything else. The intensive care doctor explained later what had happened. My body was fighting the infection, but the inflammation had gotten out of control. I had a cytokine storm. My blood pressure was far too low. They needed to pump liters of fluids into my veins and also drugs called vasopressors to increase my blood pressure to make sure I had enough oxygen getting to my vital organs. They constantly needed to increase the dose of these drugs. I had septic shock and my kidneys and other organs had stopped working properly too. This was seven hours after I was admitted to the hospital and when they decided to start kidney dialysis and blood purification with Cytosorb to help treat my failing organs. Cytosorb therapy helped to save my life. Within half a day, the vasopressors could be reduced to a third of the initial dose. The doctors were surprised by my quick recovery as my organs started to work normally again over the next couple of days when I had another two treatments with Cytosorb absorbers. They were impressed with how quickly they could regain control over this cytokine storm and serious inflammation in my body. After 10 days in the hospital, I was allowed home healthy again. Further tests on my blood revealed that my sepsis was caused by a bacteria called Leptospira which I most likely picked up during this little incident in my garden. Millions of people die from sepsis worldwide every year. I was so happy that my life was saved, I've decided to celebrate two birthdays a year from now on. Cytosorbents, working to save lives.